Today we are going to talk about creating web forms in WorkMap. The main purpose of web forms is to allow you to gather data from people outside your company. For example, you can create a contact form to gather data from your website's visitors, a patient intake form for your patients, or even a survey form for the general public. Today I am going to illustrate how easy sharing public forms is in WorkMap by creating a student intake form for my school management app. So first we're going to come into our student tracking table. So our goal with this table is to create a list of students at our school with their name, email, phone number, grade, date of birth, session, a picture, and any allergies that they have. So to do that, we're going to have to create a form. The students can now fill out this form, and when they fill it out, all their information will be updated into that workflow table. So to create a form, we're going to select New Form. So you can create as many forms as you'd like for any given workflow table that you have. As you can see below, we have all the fields that were in our table. If we wanted to get rid of one, so for example, we don't need the photos field because we already have all the students' photos in our system and we don't need them to upload them. So we can simply press remove to get rid of that. If we wanted to add it back, we can simply drag it and drop it back in. But we don't need it for this situation. On the left side, you have access to a variety of different design elements to help you structure the look and layout of your form. If we wanted to add in a header, we can simply drag and drop a header in here. If that doesn't go where you want, you can find it and then bring it all the way up to the top. So here we're going to put, welcome to the 2020 school year. If we wanted to give this form a name too, we can come up here to the form name. And we can give it a name. We're going to call this one student information because this is where the students are going to populate their information. If we wanted to add a logo, we can click here and add a logo that we have saved. So we have our school logo saved here and we can select it and add it onto our form. Now we want to do some formatting to make this form look really good and appealing. If we wanted to add a horizontal separator, we could add one in here to give it some space in between the heading and the first field type. We actually don't need that, so we can remove it. If we wanted to save some space, we could use a two column or a three column. We're going to use a two column. This allows you to combine two fields into kind of the same area. So since the grade and the session are never going to take up that much space, we're going to put them next to each other. This kind of condenses your whole form and just makes it look a little bit better. If we wanted to do a three column, we could do the same thing, and it would have three options in the same row. So we have some options here down at the bottom left for what happens after the form is submitted by the student. We have the option to display a message, to show the form again, or to show a URL. In this situation, we're going to display a message, and we're going to say, thank you for submitting this form. So that's going to pop up once the student submits the form. So I think our form looks pretty good, and we can save it to create the form. So to share the form, we are going to come up to the share button in the top right. We are going to select allow public access to the form, and now we have two options. We can share the form via a link, which we can send to whoever we'd like, or we can embed the form into our company's website by embedding a small snippet of code into the website's HTML. Here's an example of what the form would look like in the company's website. When students fill this out, it would then update directly into the workflow, and you could easily run reports with it, assign it to people in your workflow, or do whatever you would like with it. So that's going to do it for today's video. So long for now, and happy app building.